video tutorial I'll be showing you how to use the path selection tool in the GIMP picture editor first select the path selection tool and then to place the first node you left click where you want to begin and then if you continue left clicking you can um, have the new nodes connecting from the last node with a line if you don't want a, a new line being placed you hold down the shift key of your keyboard and you start uh, placing down the nodes like so if you want the node to connect to another node um, you can place a line by holding down the control key of your keyboard, your left control key, and you can uh, click the other node that you want to connect it to. Make sure you have the right node selected. I clicked over here, and then I uh, hold down the control key of my keyboard and select the other nodes. Now, um, the next thing I want to do is uh, move around the nodes, left click the node, and move it where you want them to be exactly. And now, if you want the lines to curve or, um, along this ear properly, you pull on the part of the line where you want that curve to be formed if you want it to be formed in the middle like that if you want it to be formed at the end for demonstration purposes I'll show you that you can move it at that end see and so you keep um, doing that for the rest of the path like over here alright now that I'm finished if you hit the control um, not the control if you hit the enter key of your keyboard you'll see the selection is formed if I hit the delete key the inside is deleted if I'll control Z that now to show you how to um, select the inverse you go to select you go to inverse and if I hit the delete key the outside is dele uh, deleted showing you that the inverse is selected now the next thing I want to show you is how to make a stroke around this path you go to the tools option while the path selection tool is um, uh, selected and go to the stroke button now a pop-up window will show up if you want a solid color stroke you hit the solid color um, option or you select it and then you go to the stroke op uh, stroke button and you see a nice uh, stroke is formed I'll control Z that and then I'll go back over here notice that I have the line width over here selected 200 pixels to show you um, that indeed a stroke is formed now if you go over here to patterns if I hit the patterns option I can select a pattern from my tray over here and let's say I want a chocolate swirl pattern I go ahead click that and then I go ahead uh, hit the stroke button and you'll see a pattern um, of a chocolate swirl well if you have any questions please feel free to ask me in the comments below I thank you for listening I would appreciate if you subscribe and like the video and bye